Hey, I'm Lucas. And I'm Ashley. And we are New Monster. Now then, if you've watched our video so far, you know us as New Monster, which is me, Ashley, and another guy, Adam. And what we do is basically whatever we want, and it involves a video camera, and it's going to involve blogs and vlogs and a web series called Collecting Nostalgia, which we're not going to talk about anymore <laughs> right now. We're just uh, really excited to be doing something and putting out some content. And Let's say one thing. We right. didn't say this in the last video, okay. which we probably should have. Um, if you're interested in what we're doing here, you can con you can find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash newmonsterproject. Correct. You or can also find us... We have a YouTube page. We have a YouTube page, which you're probably watching this on. Possibly. <laughs> uh, hopefully. Uh, also, uh, I believe, uh, youtube.com slash newmonsterproject. Correct. And you can also find us at newmonsterproject.com. Yes. That's kind of how you find us. We, we do a lot of things. Or you can look under rocks or behind wet, damp logs. Sometimes we're there. <laughs> we actually have some shout-outs. I want to uh, I want to thank some people. Yes! Uh, we have, uh, we, we've kind of uh, been partnering with a few conventions mm -hmm. that are coming out. Uh, some conventions that we touch base, I touch base with at Con Nougat. We're gonna be helping uh, Yamacon uh, that's, uh... That's the Jewish con. <laughs> Yamakon. And, and I'm going to... It's not, actually. No? It, it's a, it's a, uh... Um, Sounds like it! An, uh, anime and pop culture con. Right. That's going to be happening in December. I don't know anybody that likes any of that stuff. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> so it's going to be in December in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Okay. So, so that's going to be fun. And that's a, that's a while out. You got time <laughs> that to plan is, that, that is a while out. But Save your pennies! <clears throat> they're really excited about yeah. what they're doing. I know some of the guys that are going to be there, so if you guys are collectors, it's going to be something to look at. Uh, so who's, who, what's going to be there? Exactly? You're going to have uh, toy and comic vendors. They're going to have programming. They're going to have lots of stuff. Chicks dressed like elves. <laughs> so yeah, uh, shout out there. We also have some other conventions and some people that are going to be helping us with collecting nostalgia, which right. we're not going to talk anymore about. So, um, right now. but you can, if you're a collector, we will contact us at collectingnostalgia at gmail.com. Down here. Okay. Toy Fair was a couple weeks ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. So, Toy Fair. Glad yeah. I remembered the name yeah. of that one. <laughs> Toy Fair is in New York, and okay. that happens every year. It's an industry show. Okay. So, what happens is all of these companies come and show you what they are, or show, show, the, the press show the the buyers for big stores mm -hmm. or and small stores and show people who are who are there to to report on this right what is coming out in the in the coming oh, uh, year that's fun so this year like um, like toys and things right <clears throat> toys and things right this year the interesting thing there's a few interesting things um, lots of uh, of course you had we talked a few weeks ago about the Ninja Turtles coming out right so those are coming out and they so they had a big display with those yeah. guys. Um, we also had, uh, they, they had reveals for Masters of the Universe Classics that are coming out, some of the new things that, that are coming out. Saw some Voltron action coming Voltron out. Voltron coming out. Voltron hit last week. The first line came out last week. Oh, okay. Did your brother <clears throat> get that? My brother is, is good. Actually, I ordered one as well. Oh, okay. So we might, uh, I can't wait to look at that. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, that... But you've you've got uh, but the interesting thing is what I kept I kept reading about Toy Fair this right, year. Right, right, right. The big push from a lot of toy companies are these vol uh, like virtual toys. These toys that interact with things like your mobile devices, like iPhones and iPads. Right, right, right. So you you have these these toys that work with them and that you can dock your iPhone into. Like yeah. you're the toy, you remember Teddy Ruxpin? Right, 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 right. Kind of like that, except with uh, an iPhone or iPod right. or something like that. So and lots of uh, board games. Will Hasbro? There be? I don't, I don't, I don't. I mean, I'm not saying there is a Teddy Ruxpin. I'm just saying things. That like would be awesome. <laughs> that would be awesome. Um, but Hasbro is doing a lot okay. of games, right. uh, like the Game of Life. They're doing these virtual versions where yeah. it's a board, but you put your iPad right in the middle of it. Uh -huh. So that's the big thing that's coming uh -huh. out this year. Kind of cool. Hopefully, it catches a little different. On. Yeah, so we'll see. We'll see where where things are going. Is yeah. that? I mean, that's a conversation all in itself. Yeah. Are we seeing the death of the traditional board game? Hopefully, we can get our hands on one and then later on do a whole segment on it. <laughs> Let's hope so. Yeah. Uh, speaking of Toy Fair, another thing that was really popular and a lot of things people were really looking at this uh, this year. Right. Um, 
is Transformers. Yes. Because the Transformers, uh, the new cartoon, Transformers Prime, right. is, is coming out. And see, that's what I like with all these toys. <laughs> well, the w cartoon's already out. The cartoons have come out, so that means the toy lines have come out. You haven't seen a lot of that <clears throat> uh, in the past how many years? Yeah. And, okay, I'm 30, you're 30. We, we haven't seen that in a long time, and so for us to start doing this, it's a great time for us to just dive head first right. into all this stuff happening because... We literally get to relive our childhood, but with more technology and better toys. The toys we wish they were whenever they came out. And right. that's amazing. Now, this cartoon is a um, uh, computer animated cartoon. Right. So, there, it's not the cartoon that we knew as a kid. It's a completely right. different cartoon. It's kind of a hybrid between what we did know and the movies. Right. Which, let me say something. I've got to get this off my chest. I watched, I had seen the first Transformer movie, right. and you know, it was alright. Right, right. I saw the second two, uh, the uh, Transformers 2 and Transformers 3, right. this last weekend. I hadn't seen them, so I'm behind. I'm a couple years behind. It's okay, I haven't seen the third one <clears throat> for a reason. And those movies, I, I just really can't say anything good about them. Right. They got, to me, Optimus Prime, the reason in the cartoons, A lot of always, people our age can't. Right, but uh, here's my reasoning. Some I can, can. I can Some get can. by. Some I can. I can get by... Um, the effects and, you know, the Transformers look different and things like that. Right, sure. But the characterization, for me, right. of Optimus Prime is all wrong. The cartoon. The reason Optimus Prime always died right. in the cartoon right. is because he was so compassionate. Right, he gave his he sacrifice. He couldn't pull the trigger. Right. He would always let the bad guy live for another day. Right. In this, he, he was bloodthirsty, almost. Yeah. Like, he did it for a cause. He wasn't bloodthirsty to the, to the point of saying, well, I'm going to kill people because I like to kill people. Right, right, right. He did it for a cause. But he never turned his back. He never said, okay, let's see if we can come up with another way. Right. It's like, the only way is for me to point this gun at you and destroy you. Yeah, that, that does and kill... I that rarely... Whole... Things like that rarely bother me. Right. But for that character, it bothers me. Right. But we're talking about Transformers. We've got some toys that we're going to... Uh, take let's a open some! Now, these are the new Transformer Prime. Boom! Um... These are the smaller Legion class. Three, are, are these three inches, two and a half um, inches? You're right at three inches. Give me this. Um, now these are we've got Bumblebee. Bumblebee. Which uh, you know he's kind of taken the the turn of the movie. Right. Uh, you know the way they did in the movie, and then we've got Cliff Jumper here, which uh, I always liked Cliff Jumper as as a kid because yeah. he was basically the red version of Bumblebee. Mm -hmm. In a way, you know, he's the same size and everything. Right. Now these are Legion class. There's many different classes in Transformers toys now. Uh, and that's that determines their sizes. Now there's also going there are are actually are also regular size figures of these. Right. That are the, the other classes. Right. So we're gonna open these up. We got we got these for five bucks, I think. It's about the price yeah, range. Yeah. That was easy. Yeah. Really easy to open. And now you see now my guy here, uh, and I'm sure that one does too uh, they are, they do have the rubber bands. We've talked about rubber bands before on this show, or on our, on our vlog. Yes, um, there they are. So, they, there are rubber bands, and it's easy enough just to, uh, to cut those. Come from the back, and that usually. Now, the interesting thing about this, I'm not a big Transformer collector, but I look at them on a, on a pretty regular basis. Now, the neat thing about this is that, that these little guys are coming with, with weapons now, which I really like. You know, back in the day, Bumblebee was a uh, was one of the smaller uh, characters. Would and you say Wimpy? No, I wouldn't say Wimpy. He was my favorite character as a kid. Oh, well, then he's definitely but, not Wimpy. <laughs> but uh, these guys are coming with uh, with guns. They're coming with heat. They're packing. <laughs> so now the thing about Transformers is I like it when they come as a robot. They're already in robot mode because mm -hmm. I'm horrible transforming these things, and I prefer. Transformers as robots like that was always it's like why would you want a car? I can get a Hot Wheels right. if you want a car, but I wanted a robot. I'm trying to ah, I just broke his leg off. I'm transforming so. mine. Okay, like without the instructions. Hey, hey I you know what? I'm just way better at this. Than yeah, you. I'm terrible at transforming these things. Yeah, you're terrible. Look at my boom. He's a car Woo! Oh, this ah. Man, you, I broke this thing twice. You ripped him in half. Him you in killed Cliff Jumper. You're you're the Optimus Prime. Oh my goodness! This is gonna get edited so much. Bumblebee. I can't figure out how there he is being awesome. It's like he has two front ends. 
Do you want me to do it? That doesn't look like a car to me! Have you ever seen a car, Ashley? You know what a car looks like? Is, is this all the pe- Here, just talk about that. You can okay. talk while I'm doing so, uh, this. Bumblebee, um, kind of Corvette-style car here. And, um... What did you do? I don't know. Okay, Transformers on this show, bad idea. <laughs> Lots of editing. I don't do what you I don't. I didn't do anything. That's how it was. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Let's see. It actually does come with instruction. I'm curious because they have levels. Uh, okay, this was a level one. They're both level one, so that did us no good. Okay. You have to twist something. So his foot. Yep, these are his feet, and then that's how he was originally. Here's the instructions. <laughs> don't show me the instructions oh, yet. yet. This is definitely his front. I can't go when you're watching. Oh, I just broke his arm off. <laughs> well, at least they don't permanently break. Good thing about these guys is ball joints. You were right. <clears throat> I was wrong. <gasps> yes. Oh. Almost. Boom. I'm going to get it. That's the front end. Oh, oh. Uh, I said oh, but maybe I meant no. <laughs> no, no. Okay, yeah, maybe maybe you have to because turn him over. I bet it. Ah, I think I. See do you see it? See it? Maybe. Do you see? <laughs> this is a level one for kids, <laughs> not for adults, obviously. Don't undo what I. Oh. No, look. This has to be. Oh, jeez. He just ripped his legs off. So, basically, what we get out of this is that these things. Read the instructions, kids. Well, these things are incredibly hard. Bumblebee. Good to Easy. go. Uh, the other guys? Red man here. Not so... Oh! Oh! Look at you. Uh, there's a hinge in the back. So, silly trick, hinge. uh, tip for this guy, for Cliff Jumper, is there's a hinge in the back. And Cliff Jumper is a pretty sweet car, if I do say so myself. Yeah. Good job, Ashley. Okay, so there we go. That only took us ten minutes. I know. Both of us trying. So there's there's Cliff Jumper. Pretty rad. Whenever they have their shape, I mean, they they definitely look like cars. Yeah, they they're uh, pretty nice little toys. Uh, for for a kid, I, I always preferred the uh, the the larger ones. Right. To these smaller ones, but that's still pretty nice. You know, but for them to be five dollars and for them to be that flimsy of plastic, yeah. I'm not feeling it. I would have paid six dollars for the diecast metal version of that. That is true. Does that make sense to you? Yeah. I'm thinking, is it a cool deal? Maybe if you're a little kid and you're totally into it, or if you're a Transformers nut, if you're just kind of passing by and picking them up, uh, if you just want them, fine. But they're kind of flimsy, man. For five bucks. <clears throat> yeah, I did keep the the. They did keep popping off, you know, the legs and such. Yeah. They're... So I don't know. I think I would pass on these on these small ones. Like the larger ones, I'm not sure. I'm gonna try to get one of those for our next one. Yeah. Um, and we'll see if we if it's any better. Right. But yeah, for the most part, I'm gonna say uh, pass on these smaller ones. Uh, it would take us forever to put together a big one. Yeah. Both of us combined. <laughs> Hammers. So. Um, All right. There's some. So there we go. We've got some ponies and cars. <clears throat> All right. So thanks for um, thanks for tuning in this week uh, once again. I'm Ashley. I'm Lucas. And we're New Monster. We are New Monster. Be sure to check us out on Facebook at facebook.com slash newmonsterproject and on YouTube at newmonsterproject and newmonsterproject.com. And uh, why don't you, if you want to, subscribe or like us on uh, Facebook and uh, say hey. Say hey, I've seen your video. Something like that. That's fine. Adios.